It is so hot, you guys. It's 100 degrees and our air conditioning is on. But I'm also 40 weeks pregnant today, so who knows? Hey friends, today I just wanted to share my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and lip liners. I know the Sephora sale is still happening. Depending on your Sephora rewards tier membership, you can get anywhere from 10 to 20% off these lipsticks and lip liners. I hope you like this. It's my first time making this kind of video, so please be nice. The lipsticks retail for $34 and the lip liners retail for $22. I'm sure you've seen what the bullet looks like and they come in these rose gold, really retro looking bullets. They're quite weighty, which is really nice, especially for if you're paying for something that's a little bit more expensive. And yeah, I think it's very pretty, very, very classy. And what I love about her formula is it's super waxy, yet it, it creates kind of like a smoothing effect on your lips. So if I show you real quick, this is Pillow Talk. You can see it's definitely not matte. It has some sort of luminosity to it. I want to start with the Matte Revolution lipsticks. Pillow Talk is one of her most iconic shades that started as a lip liner and has since full-blown into a whole collection for her. This is the original Pillow Talk. You can see it's she claims it to be a very universal nude, but I don't know. I think on some people this might pull a little too brown. I know on some fair skin tones, a lot of people say it turns more orangey, but on my medium skin tone, it does pull a little bit more peachy pink than typically I would like for a nudie pink. It's Pillow Talk. I just took Pillow Talk off, so I have nothing on my lips. This is my natural lip color. Next, I have Very Victoria, which is a taupey nude. To be honest, it's very similar to Pillow Talk on my lips. And I'll show you what I mean. Again, super waxy, super smoothing. And there you go, no lip liner. Super nice and comfortable on the lips. And I think it looks very similar to Pillow Talk. Here is Very Victoria, just more brownish. And this is Pillow Talk which is still brown in my opinion. So very similar. If you have one of the other, you definitely don't need both. Next we have Bond Girl, which was one of my first lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is more of a brownish pinky nude. <laughs> Again, very similar to the first two. I really don't think you need all three of these if you have just one of these shades. So this is Bond Girl. I do find this deeper in color compared to the first two. So Bond Girl. This is Bond Girl, Very Victoria, and Pillow Talk. Again, you can kind of tell what shades I normally go for. Next, we have Walk of Shame, which actually looks different from the first three. This is more of a bricky, medium red color. I don't know if I mentioned, but these lipsticks, the Matte Revolution ones, have a very angular pointy tip, making it really easy to get around your lip lines. You don't really need a lip liner for any of these. Again, not the best lip swatch, but you guys get an idea of what it looks like. On its own, it's a little too red for my liking. I typically wear nudes all the time, so this is a bit shocking for me. How I would actually wear Walk of Shame is by putting a lighter nude color. This is Pillow Talk. I take Walk of Shame and I literally just dab it around my lips. And this is how I would wear Walk of Shame, which then makes it look like all my other lipsticks. So if you were like me and you don't wear reds, you probably wouldn't want to buy that on its own. Walk of Shame compared to the first three. So again, it's definitely on a bricky side, but it's not bright. It's not too deep either. So it's like a really weird medium brick red. Next, we move on to the last two lipsticks that I have from her, and it's Secret Selma and Miranda May. 
and that's Secret Summer. Again, this is without lip liner. You can definitely add a lip liner on, but I typically don't. It's just so easy this way. And it just really livens and brightens up your face. So it's a really good everyday color. So in comparison to the other colors, this is Secret Selma. The last lipstick I have to share with you guys is Miranda May. And this is a very bright coral. Now it's not something I typically wear all the time. Actually, it's probably my least used lipstick. In the summer, it's very pretty. Uh, I've definitely used this at Coachella many times. And it's just a really festive color. And you can wear it quite subtly as well. So if you do the tap tap motion again. If you just tap it on, you can get a really pretty flush of color that's not too much. Or if you want to go for it, you can do so as well. Here is Miranda May fully on. Again, it's a little too bright for me, but it is a really nice color and it's definitely a unique shade in my collection. To compare it to the other lipsticks I have, this is Miranda May. Charlotte Tilbury makes the best lip liners in my opinion. They're just super nice and comfortable on the lips. They're waxy, they glide on, and you can really fill in the whole lips without it drying out like most lip liners will do to your lips. And this is her iconic Pillow Talk shade. I've gone through maybe like three of these. I have one from, I have a tiny one right here. But this is Pillow Talk. I have it right here next to the Pillow Talk lipstick. So I actually do prefer the Pillow Talk lip liner color all around, all over my lip versus, versus the lipstick version. Next we have Super Size Me, which is more of a mid-tone pink. Pillow Talk is definitely my lip color, my lip color but better, so I can really get away with overlining my lips if I wanted to. Super Size Me is deeper in color. That's this one right here. Again, one of my favorites. I love this. It goes with so many lipsticks. I just had to get the Miranda May out for my lips. It just felt so wrong. <laughs> so this is actually my favorite lip liner from Charlotte. This is Iconic Nude. And I just tried, I'm sorry guys, all the swatching has stained my lips, but I tried my best. I just went all, I just filled in my whole lips with Iconic Nude so you could see. It's the perfect nude, a true nude. And this is it right here. So if you were to ask me, my top picks would definitely be the Iconic Nude Lip Liner and the Secret Selma Lipstick and probably one of these nudes right here. Either one, you can't really go wrong. Again, most of them look the same, if not similar on my lips. And I hope you found this video useful. It was a challenge to do my very first makeup swatching video, but I know it would have been worth it if it could have helped any one of you out there. So if you like these videos, please comment below and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching.